of the Western Air is we maintain a museum of Western and riding history. And a lot of that museum we have on wheels. So we're going to introduce you to a little Western pageant to show some of our museum. First into the arena, Sacagawea, who led Lewis and Clark through the Wild West up into the Pacific Northwest all the way to the Pacific Ocean. In this part of the world, the first people that were here, other than the Native Americans, were our mountain men. They were all over trapping and hunting. Soon there came settlers. There were families. There were all kinds of people who came, came to experience a new life in a new world. Gold was discovered in the mountains of Colorado. And the 59ers came, leaving their little Rocky Mountain Canary, hunting for precious metals in our mountains. And they had a great deal of success. It wasn't long before we needed some law on the plains. And we had our cavalry come west. We have a representative of our cavalry here, uh, some mounted troopers, and of course our escort wagon, which the cavalry used to move equipment and supplies. Not long after that, there was an awful lot of uh, other development. We had some uh, somewhat questionable saloons developed in the communities, and you see some of the folks that were prominent in those facilities riding in their open-top Surrey and also in the Surrey with the fringe on top. We had gamblers, we had uh, all kinds of people, and then of course we had families. We used a little buckboard like we had uh, to go to church on Sunday. Commerce developed, and the uh, wagon that you see next is out of the Sterling Hardware and Implement Company in Sterling, Colorado. It's a well-preserved wagon, looks beautiful, and it's uh, newly repainted configuration. Denver Society developed, and you see a group of ladies riding in side saddle, which was a very common means of mounting a horse for a lady in those days. You might be interested to know that in our museum we have maybe no Tabor's side saddle. It's one of the great things we have on display. People traveled into this country and around this country in stagecoaches, such as the one you see in front of you, pulled by the four black horses. Before long, the cattle drives came, and this part of the world began to be a cattle country where grazing took place. You see our chuck wagon, which is an authentic good down there. Yeah, chuck yes. wagon. We're not careful one of those wheels is going to fall off one of these days. It's a wonderful uh, example of what we had. Then we had our cattle and our drovers come. And finally, in the arena, the gentlemen that really created all of our members of the Wild West, Buffalo Bill Cody, no less, and his Wild West show all over the world. He went to show the world what the Wild West was really all about. In his Wild West show, he had many cavalry, he had uh, many Indians, and he had whole Indian families, as you see, parading through the arena. And of course, he had little Annie Oakley, little Miss Sure Shop, and her friend Frank Butler, who did our show uh, everywhere around the world. And little Annie Oakley with that rifle, but she was silver dollar when it was tossed into the air. She was such an accurate shot. Well, it was a great fun to have all of these things remembered, and it's good to remember them again today. I hope you've enjoyed our little presentation of pageantry for the wild, wild west.
picture. They act like you don't know who is Well, yeah. but there are a lot of Buffalo Bill 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 Bill